you say? Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's end of day's trading session, the 14th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so European stats, FTSE finishes up 43 points, very impressive. It did actually hit a high pivot, a pivot, a pivot high of 7380 before it actually retraced. The German DAX certainly um, finishes higher, 150 points. Hitting a pivot high of almost 12,200 before it retraced. The French CAC as well, finishing lower, 5,120. FTSE mid buyback, stock 600. Okay, so European markets certainly pushing higher, uh, given the fact that uh, uh, the market certainly uh, negates the concerns over North Korea. Uh, the uh, situation certainly seems to be uh, improving there, well, on the exterior uh, anyway. Uh, but uh, I can't see how... Uh, any how in any way whatsoever the situation improved from my perspective it still seems like the uh, the situation remains tense adding the fact that you have charlottesville as well and the uh, uncertainty or political uncertainty regarding that too so everything is indicating risk off and now we also have the uh, situation with regards to trump signing in the uh, signing the uh, potential uh, trade war uh, with china okay so again intellectual property rights so argument there in terms of Chinese companies, certainly, uh, uh, apparently they're uh, equating that to three percent of GDP. So, again, that's going to be interesting. If there were enough geopolitical social stress points in the world to fill uh, a lifetime sleepy vacation, August late on Friday, President spoke to President Xi Ping, Jinping, and told him that he's preparing to order an investigation of Chinese trade practices, and that certainly has come into effect. So, again, let's see how that affects the market. From my interpretation, it certainly is risk off. Okay, so a lot of companies in the U US uh, are certainly going to be hurt by that, and a trade war certainly is always negative. Okay, certainly risk negative. In terms of uh, economic data out in the US, virtually non-existent except Mr. Dudley, and even his her his remarks certainly have uh, have been ignored thus far. Overnight, we're looking to um, RBA meeting. So again, the minutes from the RBA meeting, we have Chinese money supply, new loans, and foreign direct investment data. Uh, going overnight, we also have uh, Japanese industrial production. We have German GDP numbers tomorrow in the morning. Okay, so that certainly is happening overnight. But for now, certainly looking for risk aversion, uh, especially led by uh, US equities being into resistance. Okay, let's just quickly go over the German DAX here. German DAX finishes uh, really red towards the close. Okay, but certainly pushes higher for the day. As you can see here, we gapped higher from 12,000. We've hit a pivot high of 12,195 before we reversed. 60 minute chart at the moment is into that Fib 61%, so it's therefore looking for weakness there. French CAC, okay, French CAC certainly hitting that key resistance at 5,135, certainly looking for a retracement here. 60 minute chart is into that Fib 75%, so again, looking for a retrace on the French CAC. In terms of FTSE 100, again, it did push higher to the uh, key resistance here at 7377. You had gap fill at 7390. 7, okay, there are the two zones to watch out for. Again, 7380, 390 will be the key zone uh, in terms of resistance. Support zone down below at 7340. And then gap fill at 7310. So that certainly is the status quo. Okay, so I think that's a good wrap up in terms of uh, European markets. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal in terms of the latest signals and market updates and uh, certainly visit cfds.com for your uh, for certainly to take advantage of the bonus goodbye now